Hi guys, and today I'm going to be um, talking to you about the new private browser, uh, browser that is called Browser. I just heard about it. Um, it is portable. It lets you put it on. Uh, you can put it on any USB key, and then you can plug it into any computer and use it. Um, it's good for Windows XP, Windows Vista, and seven any Windows operating systems. So let's get started. So this is what it lo looks like. I'll click it. If this window comes up, uh, don't panic, it's okay. Uh, you know, like usually um, normal installation software, you have to click it to run the software. Well, this is sort of the same thing, you need to click to run it. So just click run. You're going to have to click that every time you want to use it. Um, I'm going to um, put the download link in the comments below. There are three different um, download, um, types of download you can do, um, which are this, like the Windows XP style, which is blue. There's a silver and bronze. Um, so yeah, uh, so let's get into the specs of this um, private browser. There is the home button, the print, the new tab, there's the HTML like you know. The go, the dot com, the stop, the refresh, and the project browser, and the click. Uh, there's also just like at the bottom, oh, um, tools. There's also force cleanup, and that's the main feature there is to uh, to browser. So I'm gonna tell you now um, that when you exit the program, it cleans out all the internet files, all the um, cookies you have and everything. But first, I'm just going to show you that everything works on here. Fine. If I go to a music video, it works. Just let it load up. Oh, I need to refresh it. It should be loading. Yeah, it's loaded now, and it should be uh, seen here. There's also this, like the Windows XP um, load sign, if you would like to call it that. See, and it works perfectly. Not sure if you can hear it, but it works. Uh, there's also, um, yeah, so that's what it is. Uh, there's also, so you can look at pictures. Good fails. By the way, guys, this is also a website I made for all, for fails that I found on uh, an app. Which is epic fail. Uh, these are all fails I got from my uh, iPod that I saved and transferred it and uh, put it. Uh, as you see, they're all fails. Um, they're, uh, it's not TK, you know, it's not a domain name that most uh, websites use. This is a free domain name, .tk. You put in your original uh, domain name, which would be .com or anything that you have to pay, like .yoga site or .webs or things like that. Put that in, and then it'll create you a .tk with the name of it. So it would be like my failopolis.yolasite.com. You'll transfer that into failopolis.tk. So that's what it is. No time to load. Well, I'm just gonna still loading. See, so if I click on one. Hold on guys, sorry about this. Oh, here we go. See, so yeah, different fails and stuff like that. It all works. And the close button's there, and yeah. And, uh, yeah. So now I will show you the fourth cleanup. You would uh, click X here, and then this window will come up. History, cookies, temporary internet files, temporary Java files, and flash, local, shared, all those will be uh, cleaned up. So 
So see it's all uh, cleaning up. In case one of them has an X on it, meaning it it will tell you that it has been um, not cleaned up, it will tell you ask you to restart, you will have to click OK. And then it will restart the process. The thing that I don't get about it is that it also reloads the browser after. So that's I guess that's how the program works. So yeah. Uh, so guys um I hope you like this video. Please um um like this video, uh, subscribe for more videos like this on tech and how to videos. Um comment uh and yeah. I'll see you in my next video.